Hi everyone. Thought we'd do a quick video update again tonight, um, mostly because there's a lot of rainfall coming up over the next few days, and um, it could even be a little bit of flooding in a few places. So it would only be minor, but it's you know the prone low-lying spots could see a little bit of flooding. So um, anyway, we'll we'll get on with the forecast. So what we've got is um, some clear spells at the moment, and this is uh, well for this evening, and 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 it's been clear really for the last few hours, just a little bit of high patchy cloud moving through, and this will continue uh, for the next few hours, but. As we head through the night, some cloud starts to increase so that by tomorrow morning we start to see more cloud pushing up across us. And with this uh, cloud that's going to be moving up through, there's going to be some rain. So we've got some dry spells at the moment, but then as we head through the night, we start to see a few little showers developing towards the early hours of the morning, which could be quite heavy. And then um, by 7 a.m., we still got some shower outbreaks moving through. And then by 10 a.m., we start, they start, the heavier uh, band of it really starts to get closer. And we've got this spell of slightly more persistent rain moving through uh, around the middle of the day, which could potentially be quite heavy. You can see these um, colours here. We're looking at around uh, 5 to 7 millimetres per hour, possibly even a little bit more. So possibly or potentially quite heavy and maybe even thundery. And then as we head through into the uh, evening, the heaviest rain moves away, but you can see this broken rainfall area here. Um, and that signifies uh, showers because as we head through into the evening, the cloud is quite broken. So this means that any, any rainfall will be in the form of showers, but the, they still could be potentially heavy with the risk of the odd rumble of thunder. So let's have a quick look at the uh, temperatures for tonight and into tomorrow. So we're starting off the evening, 4 to 5 degrees Celsius, in a, in a west northwesterly breeze, around 5 to 10 miles per hour, possibly a little bit higher in some of the stronger gusts, but generally not too bad. And as we head through the night, the temperatures fall away, so 2 or 3 degrees in a few places. Uh, any point really in the night, the temperatures could fall uh, to around 2 or 3 degrees. And that would be mostly in central parts of the island, and then spreading perhaps more northern parts of the island as the night goes on. Now, we could see the odd localised spot down to around freezing, but this will be very localised. Um, perhaps around braiding, maybe ashy, perhaps around Wooten Creek area. You know, places like that, low-lying valleys um, that are sheltered from the wind, could potentially be cold enough for a bit of an air frost. Um, generally, though, we'll see a bit of a ground frost. Uh, in quite a few places with temperatures 2 to 4 degrees Celsius as a whole but perhaps 5 maybe even 6 degrees Celsius along the uh, windward coasts here. So as we head through into tomorrow with these temperatures you see they don't really rise that high. Um, this is by midday we're looking at 6s and 7s maybe the odd 8 degrees Celsius um, in more northern parts and the winds at this point will be coming in from the uh, south southeast and they're not going to be too bad. We're looking at uh, moderate in strength, so maybe 10, 15 miles per hour in land. On the coast here, we're looking at really 15 to 18 miles per hour, gusting up to around 22 at this point. But though, as we although as we head towards the into the afternoon, the wind suddenly switched direction. So by 3 p.m., they've switched around in, more into the southwest. Uh, a bit of an increase in wind speed here, so we're looking around 24 miles per hour average here on the coast around 18 to 22 in land but remember on the coast with these stronger winds we're going to be seeing gusts up to around 30 maybe even 32 miles per hour inland gusting up to around 25 and then as we head through into the evening temperatures start to fall away which is going to lead to a uh, to another rather chilly night with possibly a bit of a ground frost in a few places so let's continue with um, with the rainfall chart for uh, tomorrow night. So you can see here, as I said before, there's some showery outbreaks. And as we move through the night, these showers remain, you know, on the coast here. If we overlay the wind direction, you can see the wind is, is still coming up from the south or southwest at this point. So, you know, a few showers coming in off the English Channel. And this continues really until the early hours of the morning. But then, um, during tomorrow morning, we start to see this heavier rain moving up from the south. Now. It could potentially be thundery this rain, it could be, well, there could be some very heavy outbreaks mixed in with rainfall totals, or should I say rainfall um, rates around uh, anything, 7 to 10 millimetres per hour, so we could see quite a lot of rain. Uh, and as this comes through, you know, like I said, it could be potentially thundery, and this could give a little bit of flooding in a few places, because the area of low pressure, as you can see here, is actually moving uh, directly across, pretty much directly across the island. So a quick overlay of the isobar shows where the high and low pressure is, and you can see this, this area of low pressure moving right up across us through the day. Um, and then as the uh, as the low pressure moves off to the north, the rain becomes quite a lot lighter. So um, you know it might be a bit drizzly, but it'll be quite cold and, and damp and unpleasant. So you can see these these um, temperatures here. 
you know, we're looking at two, three, four degrees. In fact, there is a chance some of this rain could even turn a little bit sleety later on in the day. But uh, yeah, so not really that pleasant at all. So as we move into Saturday, we get a drier interlude for a time. Um, overnight Friday into Saturday, maybe a little bit of light rain here and there. But uh, further showery outbreaks of rain may well develop as we move through Saturday. Not really as heavy as what we've had. Um, you know, it will be quite light, possibly even drizzly but it'll be cold and unpleasant and there may even be a little bit of sleep mixed into some of this rain and it doesn't really change much as the winds go round to the east and then southeast by Sunday but then as we head towards Monday further outbreaks of rain start to push up from the south and behind this out these outbreaks of rain in fact it does look like the temperatures will start to rise so as we head into next week there could be a spell for a few days where temperatures get a lot higher than what we've seen so far this year um, into the low to mid teens but uh but we'll let you know a little bit more about that a little bit closer to the time anyway that's all for now goodbye